The set of tables inspiratory time related to constant set flow pattern show the influences between tidal volume, set flow rate, and inspiratory time based on a constant flow pattern during volume control ventilation. Note, if you're using a fully decelerating flow pattern, it doubles the inspiratory time displayed. Inputs for the table include gender. As you can see, the, the table is color-coded. So it's pink for female, and then I also have the icon in the top right-hand corner showing the female icon. So this is one of the tables for a female patient. Second, the patient's height in either inches or centimeters. Third is what tidal volume you're targeting. So I have different tables for four, five, and six milliliters per kilogram. Then lastly, your set flow rate. So my V is just abbreviation for my flow rate. I have various flow rates here. Outputs for the table include a ideal body weight in kilograms based on both height and gender, and then inspiratory time in seconds. How to use the tables. First select the appropriate table for one, the correct gender, so we're using a female patient for the example. Another is select the table that has the correct height for your patient, and this table this one only goes up to 61 inches. So there's various tables for various heights. And then third is make sure the table corresponds to the tidal volume you're targeting. And for the example, we're gonna use that we're targeting five milliliters per kilogram of ideal body weight. For this example, we're gonna use a patient, a female patient that's only five foot tall, so that's 60 inches. And you can see that their ideal body weight is only 45 kilograms. And if we were targeting five millimeters, not millimeters, milliliters, sorry, per kilogram, that would give us a tidal volume target of 225 milliliters. Now, if our ventilator was set up to set at inspiratory time, say we were setting an inspiratory time of 0 0.3 seconds, that would give us a flow rate of 45. And as previously mentioned, this is for a constant flow or square flow waveform pattern. And if you're using a decelerating, it'd just be double this. So say you're using decelerating, this number would actually be 0 0.6 seconds. So you can still use this for decelerating flow patterns too. You just gotta remember that it has to be fully decelerating and you multiply the inspiratory time by two. A same patient, a different example. So the same patient of a female patient, approximately five foot. We still have the tidal volume target of 225. And let's say the ventilator set up, instead of a, in setting an inspiratory time, I set a flow rate and we're setting the flow rate up for 45 liters. And as you can see, that my inspiratory time now gives me my inspiratory time of 0.3. Or if you're using a fully decelerating flow waveform pattern in your ventilator, this would double. So my I time would be 0 0.6. So just another way to use the table.